Hey, what's up everybody? Got a new radio on my bench today. I'm going to do another OEM test of this radio made by President. This is the Walker 2. So I'm going to unbox the thing. I just, I got it in a couple days ago. I just didn't have time to really do a video. So we're going to do a video on it right now. So let me get it open and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it out of the box. Here it is. Here's the box for it. I really like the way this radio looks. I think that uh, it has pretty much any feature you could want in a CB other than sideband. So anybody that is a sideband operator, you probably, unless you're just looking for something to throw in a vehicle, you may not want this radio. But myself personally, when I'm in a vehicle, more times than not, I'd rather just talk AM. Why? Because it's easier. And you're going to find that there's more people on the AM channels than, you know, you can tune around sideband, but you're really only going to find people on 38, lower, maybe 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, maybe somewhere in there. But for the most part, if, if unless you have a bunch of locals that you talk to on sideband, you're going to be on AM. So hence uh, AM only radio here. So you guys can see it's got all kinds of features that you're not going to find in like a Cobra 29 or anything like that. Another AM radio. It's got the weather band, which I think is great. Uh, they make a 10 meter version that I believe is similar to this. It's the Richard. I've actually owned one of those. I thought it was a fine radio, but you don't really need... You know, if you're going to convert it, which you know, I'm assuming most people, when they buy a 10 meter radio, they're, they're buying it to use it as CB. So you're going to convert it and you're going to get all these features. I think the Richard has echo and you don't have weather. Well, to me, if I, if I have this radio on a vehicle, the weather band is much more useful to me than echo. So that's a plus right there. And the extra power that the Richard does, I mean, let's face it most people you're going to probably run an amplifier of some sort where the richard i mean if you turn that radio down to run an amplifier it's not going to really perform any better than this radio this radio has rf power from the factory uh, i don't know what it's going to do out of the box but i'm assuming with the on maximum you're probably going to see a little under four watts maybe on minimum maybe a watt or so we'll, we'll have to find out in a minute but I mean, for the most part, you're going to do what this radio is going to do on that Richard if you turn the RF power all the way down. To get the, what is it, 50 watts, I believe it does out of the box, you're going to have to have it RF power all the way open. And then you're going to be somewhere, I don't know, 12, 13 watts swinging up to close to 50. So, I mean, do you really need that much power in a mobile out of radio? Uh, I think these, I think this radio would be fine for someone getting into CB or just someone that wants just a nice... CB that has a lot of features. I, I think that you know you can save the money, maybe put the extra money spent on the Richard. Uh, unless you know how to convert it yourself, I mean you're going to end up spending more money than what they retail at. I think they retail at like 169. So you're probably looking close to 200 by the time you have it converted and all that other good stuff. So I think for someone that just wants to buy a CB, hook it up. This is the way to go right here. It's got tons of features. It's got the, the nice real meter on it. You know, some of these newer radios, they have that digital meter. Um, there can be a lot said about having that standard meter. I think that's a great feature. And then it does have some integrated stuff here. The, the menu system is pretty simple, I think, on this. But it's all taken place by the channel selector there. So you get kind of like an older style to it, but then you got some new stuff with the technology in it. So, um, and then you get the two year warranty from president. If you were to buy an antenna with it, then you get another three years on the radio. So you get five years total. And then the antennas, I believe all come with a 10 year warranty. So, um, I'm going to be looking at a president Texas antenna soon. Uh, in a couple weeks, I'm taking my vehicle down to a place down by Detroit because we're in Michigan and they do installs of antenna mounts in your roof. Well, I already have a couple antenna mounts in my roof of my vehicle, but they're for 
the Motorola style mount. And I'm going to keep one of them, but the other one I want it to be the, like the SO239 mount, which, you know, you can screw in like a Wilson 1000 or, you know, anything that has that kind of plug on the other side. But uh, the, the one distributor I buy products from, they have some of the President Texas export antennas. And I believe that has the, the SO239 connector on it, so that'll screw right into that mount. Uh, I think that the other model that's sold more in the USA now has the 3 8 by 24 on it. So, so if they still have that when I get that mount put in, I'm, I'm possibly going to look into that. Because that Texas is the, they're saying it's a 7 8 wave antenna. And it's got a ton of bandwidth on it. So I'm thinking it's going to be a pretty good performing antenna. It's really tall too. So that, that's the only downside to it. You know, to get a better working mobile antenna, you have to add more height to the whip. So I'm assuming it has some kind of way to tilt it. Maybe, you know, you could tilt it a little bit, especially if there, maybe that'd be useful if there was skip running. Maybe you could kind of tilt it at a 45 so that you're still kind of vertical, but not totally horizontal. I don't know. I've never tried that. Right now I'm just running a, Browning, I think it's BR something or another. It's just an NMO style CB antenna. And I have a, a Wilson that I can put on there with an adapter, but I don't I don't really care for running that NMO to SO239 adapter. I think it's kind of clunky looking and it's just it's it's better to have the permanent mount through the roof. So we're I'm gonna get that done in a couple weeks. And I might actually install this in my vehicle. Right now I have a Lincoln 2 out there, and I mean, I like it a lot, but I really don't use sideband a whole lot. I think this would be much more useful in, in my vehicle. Plus, I get the weather, and you get that little uh, plug there for charging, which, you know, you're charging your phone. If you, you know, some people may not use them, but every once in a while, I still use a radar detector. And there's just a lot of things that, you know, you don't you can plug into those to charge now everything seems to take a usb for charging so that's just a nice feature of the radio to have a charging so uh, here's the back of it it's got a nice solid build to it that it's pretty much the same radio as that richard i was telling you guys about earlier i actually own one of those and probably should have held on to it i ended up selling it because at the time i didn't realize exactly um what I had at the time, I was looking for something else. I sold that and got the Lincoln too. So, and that was before I, I got into having my business. I was just, you know, my personal radio. So, and this may turn out to be a, a mobile radio for me as well. So, well, let's unbox it and I'll get it hooked up and we'll check it out. So I'll be right back. All right, for anybody that's not familiar with what, how they look when they're packaged, this is what you're gonna see when you get a new radio got your manual got your sticker over here you got your accessories it's gonna be your microphone your mounting bracket uh, power cord mounting hardware all that good stuff in there I don't need any of that so I'll leave that all sealed if I was to mount this in my vehicle uh, then I would tap into that and use the mounting bracket and everything else but here's the radio yeah, I really like this radio. I think it's going to be a good one. And it's so much smaller than a Cobra like 29. And you get so many more features that it's just, to me it's just a no-brainer on that. So let me uh, let me get everything set up and I'll be back. Okay, I figured I'd show it really quick before I hook it up. You guys can see it. Here's the antenna jack. You got a box for a voice operated or voice activated microphone. If you wanted to use something like that, PA, external speaker, your normal power plug. Here's the bottom. It's a vented cover, which is nice. And top, it's got that nice president insignia right in the top cover. The front. I think it's a great looking radio. I, I think the Richard is too, honestly, it's black and it's pretty much the same chassis as this radio but i like this gray i think it looks really good it almost looks kind of like a like a uniden or a cobra with the gray and i think that's what they were going for is to compete with them 
and you just get so many more features and i mean i know that like cobra and union over the years some of the models had weather in them but i think weather is a good feature for someone that's going down the road listening to a cb you can set up the weather alert and if something happens i mean it's going to let you know it's got the high cut i think that's a great feature also so let's get it hooked up and uh, we'll see what it's doing right out of the box okay here it is all hooked up it's on the test equipment now comes on it had the red color so i just left it how it was looks like these little buttons are backlit as well um our power output is up here i got a 10 water in there that's the lowest i have I actually have a 5 watt on the way because i mean you just get more accuracy with a slug that's closer to the power level that you want to read so we're looking for four watts the five watt slug would be ideal but since i only have a 10 that's what we have to look at so i don't know we're looking at like three and a quarter watts or so let's turn the rf power all the way down it's about a watt so that's really good gives you the adjustability there let's go over to the let me set this up, make sure everything is on properly. Preamp on, auto range it, that way it's showing everything. Okay, so over here we got channel one, over here we got channel 40. You guys can see that or not. Start is channel one, stop is channel 40, center is channel 19. So that's where we're at, channel 19 right there. It's calibrating. And it's looking perfectly fine with the unmodulated carrier. Looks great. I'm thinking this probably has a timeout timer on it, so eventually it's probably going to start beeping or doing all kinds of stuff to let me know that I need to unkey. Here is the frequency right out of the box. Just turned it on. It's right on frequency. I mean, you couldn't get any better than that um here is that is my carrier on the scope right there i actually enlarged it maybe it's going to be a little easier normally i just do two boxes i did four so when we're going to see the waveform it's going to be right at the top and bottom it's going to take up the whole screen yep there's the there's the timeout timer, so let me address that and I'll be right back. Okay, got that all squared away, timeout timer. Let's go back to the scope. Now this is out of the box, nothing adjusted whatsoever, so let's turn on the modulation. And there you go. 100, pretty much 100%. Maybe it's like 95, 90 to 95, but I mean, who can really tell? But it's great, right out of the box. So, neat. Yeah, I mean, it looks just phenomenal, right out of the box. So, I mean, there's a menu, service menu in the radio. I have the service manual. President supplies me with their service manuals. There's a way that you can probably adjust that a little bit. Maybe give it just a little bit more modulation. But I mean, for a, just someone wanting to throw a radio in their car and talk, this is perfectly fine just how it is. So I would say do nothing and you'd be just as happy and you'd have more money in your pocket possibly to buy maybe, I don't know, a different antenna or whatever you wanted to do. But I mean, you could perfectly well talk on this and it would work just fine. So here is the power.